and later on, live here in the studio, we'll have a disco classic from one of the queens of lockdown, Sophie Ellis Bexter! Hey! <laughs> I'm so happy to have this singer here. Uh, for many of us, she really made lockdown bearable with her weekly kitchen disco. Uh, here before me, the disco classic, crying at the disco deck, it is Sophie Ellis Bexter! <laughs> While, while the, 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 is the fish playing a Millennium Falcon? <laughs> the shark, yeah, he is. Oh, it's yeah. a shark. I, I, I beg your pardon. I'm is married it? to the shark. Are oh, you married to the shark? <laughs> yeah, yeah. OK, yeah. so is that a real working guitar? Yeah, yeah, it really plays bass, but also the actual toy part also makes sounds as well. That's genius. <laughs> genius. I only want the Millennium Falcon part. You can break <laughs> off the guitar bit, but, uh, yeah. It's pretty good. I did that as a Christmas present a few years back, and I, I literally can't go any higher than that. <laughs> no. He loves Star Wars, <laughs> and he plays the bass, and I sort of went all out with this Star Wars toy that was He just took his shark head off. You just can see who he is. Uh, oh, no, it's uh, back on. It's back on. Oh, oh. I oh, oh, okay. can see you, darling. <laughs> oh. Oi! 
<laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So that song is from the Songs from the Kitchen Disco, yes. which is out now. Yes. And wow. this was inspired by these amazing things that you did in lockdown. Yeah. So uh, did so somebody awesome. ask you to do the Kitchen Disco or did you just come up with it? Um, it was Richard's idea. Oh. Um, so lockdown had just started and like loads of people, we felt completely discombobulated. All our work was gone. We were stuck at home with our five kids. Uh, we had the stress and tension of, you know, family life, the heaviness of the news. I didn't, I felt totally useless, actually. I thought, what on earth can I do with myself? How am I going to get through this time? And Richard said, why don't we do a gig on Friday? And I mean, as a family, that is how we cope with stress and anxiety anyway. We'll put on music, we'll put on the disco lights, we'll have a bit of a boogie together. I thought that's insane doing it live like, and actually, you know, broadcasting it, but something about it appealed to me. So, so we were off, yeah, we did it at the beginning of lockdown. I really thought people were going to laugh at me because I put on a full sequin cat suit. Our littlest one was 14 months. I was trying not to tread on him. We've got the teenager, the three in the middle. Um, but actually, we felt really good afterwards. It really, it was weird. It was like our brains were tricked into thinking we'd just done a gig. Yeah. Um, mm. And we got this really warm response. Mm. And we thought, right, that's it. Every Friday at 6.30, mm. that's what we'll that's do. So we did two cool. and a half months of these funny little gigs. Because uh, did you see any of it? A lovely kitchen. Yeah. yeah. I mean, a really <laughs> nice kitchen. <laughs> 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 really nice handle. I'm very impressed yeah. by the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Ellis, uh, thank you for that amazing performance. It was such a beautiful, beautiful it thing. Uh, perfect so for New awesome. Year's Eve. Sophie Ellis Baxter, everybody. <laughs>